The Horn of Africa country is known for its coffee, but a gold rush over the last two years has seen export rise to 24,000 kilograms and earnings shot up to 1.2 billion US dollars. Government officials say prospects for the gold mining sector can only get brighter. The ministry manages the production of gold mining in two ways. The first is the type of gold produced in a factory level where huge amounts of investment is made for. The second is the one produced traditionally and both are going pretty well. A recent survey increased estimates of gold resources to 500 tons. The government says production could rise to 40 tons a year from just over four tons two years ago. More production will mean less dependence on imports and a boost of foreign currency earnings. The government wants to maximize gold production in its 2020-2022 vision term to 2 billion US dollars, which is 10 times what the country had in 2012. And this directly or indirectly has big contribution to the nation's economy. But challenges remain. Of the hundreds of companies licensed to mine gold, only 130 are in operation. The sector is also in need of huge investment. Most of the investors take licenses, but they delay when actually implementing the project itself. They face challenges like capital, technology, and human resource that prevented them from starting up the investment. The future appears bright for Ethiopian gold exports. The anticipation of this, the government has projected annual revenues of a billion dollars a year over the next five years. Ethiopia's gold mining success promises a big boost for the country's economy. It's a golden outlook that could be unlocked by better regulation and increased investment. Krumjala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.